Kia ora koutou, ko Monique Doi, aho. Hi everyone, I'm Monique Doi. I am a size inclusive stylist. I live in Tamaki Makoto. It is my personal mission to help women find their personal style and wear their personalities and also to feel better about their bodies so they can get on with their lives. I'm very fortunate to have been asked here by Carers New Zealand as part of their We Connect program to share some style knowledge with you. And today's video is going to be all about organizing our wardrobes. So, welcome to my wardrobe. Now, I haven't always had a wardrobe that looked like this. This is a wardrobe that I designed when we moved into this house, but I have had single wardrobes. I've had wardrobes with doors that won't open. Um, I've had a little half size piece of furniture wardrobe um, that I could only shove a few hanging things into. So there are lots of ways to organize your wardrobe regardless of what sort of wardrobe you have. Personally, I really like to have the same uniform hangers all the way throughout my wardrobe. They hang nice and evenly and the focus is on the clothes, not what they're hanging on. Wooden hangers don't break and they create a nice separation between each garment. My second choice would be a velvet hanger because they don't take up a lot of space in your wardrobe um, and they're grippy so your clothes hang on them really really well. I have found though that I've thrown a lot of these out over the years because they break easily. So just keep that in mind if you're going to hang something heavy on it. Now I like to sort the items in my wardrobe from lightest to darkest. It just really helps you to be able to see what you have. So I have any light colors at the very front and basically I go through pinks, blues, greens into darker colors like mixed prints with blacks in them and then black at the back. I can grab whatever I want in an instant because I can see exactly where everything is. If you have a lot of something, contain it. This is a really basic plastic basket. I think it's from Kmart, but it is full of all of my slips and underskirts. Um, whenever you've got a sheer shirt or something, a little camisole that goes under it, all goes into this box. And then the whole box just goes up on the shelf so I can get the whole thing down when I want it. A while back, I discovered these shelf dividers from Kmart. They are a clear piece of perspex that clips onto your shelf to keep your clothes divided. So I keep this one up on this shelf and then I put chunky jumpers next to it and they don't fall off the shelf because they're all contained together. Now, if you've got a wardrobe that's got doors that can barely open because you haven't got a lot of space in your room, have you considered taking the doors off? At our old house, the double wardrobe doors almost hit the end of our bed because we had a small bedroom. So when we got to this house, I decided I wasn't gonna do doors on the wardrobe at all. And a lovely friend of mine made me a curtain instead. So when I want to cover up the clothes because it's particularly hot and glary and I want to, or I want to protect them from the dust, I can shut the curtains and otherwise I leave them open and I can see everything in my wardrobe. Now, it's good to be able to see everything in your wardrobe because then you're more likely to keep it tidy because if it's not tidy, it really bothers you. Now, having drawers is amazing for storage, but keeping them tidy is hard, especially if you've got little kids like I do and they're always giving you little bits and bobs. So what I do inside my drawers is I keep old uh, gift boxes and storage boxes just made of cardboard and I use them to divide up my drawers. I've also got a few little plastic trays in here that I've picked up um, here and there which I use to keep some of my bigger accessories in. Jewelry storage. Now if you're like me you love your jewels. I have a few different things. I have a storage drawer here which is just literally a tray with some felt in the bottom of it where all my jewellery lies down. But I also have these cute little organisers, which I believe came from the warehouse for some of my bigger, chunkier jewellery, so I can really, really see what I'm looking for. I also tend to hang 3M hooks up inside my wardrobe, so some of my bigger pieces, which I almost feel like an art, can be seen at all times, but also I remember to wear them. Chances are there are some creative solutions you already have in your home that you can use to store some of the things in your wardrobe. Up here, I have got a dog pot plant holder. 
um, which my headbands are in so I can see them all really clearly and it means I wear them all the time. Use every bit of storage you have. I have a shelf at the top of my wardrobe where I have vintage picnic baskets filled up full of the clothes I'm not wearing this season that I'm saving for summer. There are a few things I want you to get out of your wardrobe straight away. The first thing is things that do not fit you anymore. Every time you look at them, it just makes you feel bad because they don't fit your body for whatever reason. It is totally normal for your body to change as you get older and as you go through different stages of life. Your body will change. That is something I can guarantee you. Those things that don't serve you anymore need to be removed from your wardrobe. You can either store them or you can give them away. I've done a bit of both. Some of the things I really love that are long-term memories are stored on top of my wardrobe and others I give on to other women in my style group. I like to think of my wardrobe as another room in my house. Regardless of how small it is or big it is, you can put some personality into it, which makes it way more fun to get dressed in the morning. I painted some boards and put them in the back of the shelves to make it look more exciting for me. I've got a cute rug on the floor, which I'll show you. And I have some of my favorite things inside my wardrobe that I just love to look at. A lot of my favorite bags, which is almost like a little statue in my wardrobe. Some of my favorite books are in here. Um, a beautiful little money box that I was given by close friends years ago. All of these things just bring me joy when I look at them and I move them around all the time. A big no-no in your wardrobe is storing anything in plastic. Plastic shoe boxes, plastic garment bags, dry cleaning bags, anything like that. Plastic doesn't breathe, so it traps humidity and that's how you end up with mold in your clothes or even worse, in your shoes where you just cannot get rid of it. So either store your shoes sitting on a shelf or in their original cardboard shoe boxes stacked on top of each other. Um, and some of my shoe boxes even have a photo on the front of them so I know what shoes are inside. Once or twice a year, take everything out of your wardrobe, wipe down the shelves and the rails, sort through your clothes and decide what you want to keep or what can be donated or what can be stored if it doesn't fit and you love it or if it's from a different season and then put everything back in your wardrobe. A fresh start means you'll feel excited and energized about your clothes again and you're more likely to wear what you already have.